Guess what, guys? We oh, Smiley, why are you in such a bad mood right now, buddy? Oh, he took my microphone. Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. How are things going for you guys? Let me know down in the comments how your day is. Today we are finally gonna get back to some normalcy and go around and see all of our ambassador animals. Say hi to the crew and just see what's been happening here. Finally, a little slowdown from the incredible manic pace that we've been keeping ever since we've been back. So what do you say we just jump in and go say hi to everybody? Of course, coming back to all these eggs is always really nice. So we're with Kelsey again and we have another clutch too. What is this one bred to? We have a a pastel bred to a pastel kingspin. Let's go ahead and see how many eggs she has. Okay, she's curled around a nice clutch right there, so that's nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful clutch, actually. Oh, really nice, actually. She's a little feisty, though, isn't she? It's okay, Mama. Woohoo! It's okay, Mama. You're okay. Okay, it looks like we got one egg way off to the side here that's a little bit loose. And actually, this egg looks a little loose over here, too. So we'll have to candle a couple eggs. No big deal at all, but oh no, that's a beautiful clutch. That's two, four, six, seven eggs. Seven good eggs, no slugs. That's a pretty good clutch. I can take that all the time. So, all right, Kelsey, we'll get this in, and good job. Thank you. Of course, we have a little time with my girl Lucy here. The thing that's really amazing is that she's swelling up for an ovulation. You know, we had her in with Titan, and we saw her breed a handful of times, but we weren't 100% sure if she was gonna go this year. But uh, sure enough, she is ramping up for an ovulation. So guess what, guys? We, oh, she's gonna get, watch yourself, watch yourself, watch yourself. So guess what, guys? We are definitely gonna get some babies out of Lucy this year, and she's a cranky mama. And I certainly can't do a piece on Lucy and not at least take Daisy out and see how she's doing. She is absolutely incredible as always. And you know what's kind of funny? She looks a little swollen too. I'm not 100% sure if she's gonna go this year. And in a way, I almost kind of hope that she does it. I really don't want to have to put Daisy through that. I kind of want her to be her normal self. And every now and then, you'll have a female big snake that gets grabbed and that kind of changes their temperament a little bit. They makes them a little bit more defensive and usually they get over it after they have their eggs but in this case I almost hope Daisy doesn't go because I just want her to be her beautiful self. Of course one of the first animals I had out when I first came home with my boy RJ and I'm really happy to tell you that he is back on food from his winter strike so that's really cool because now we can start training him again during the summer and hopefully really get him going but he's such a beautiful boy. And then of course there's Bowser down here and one of the things that's really cool is Mary's been working with Bowser to get him to eat these pellets off of tongs so it's pretty cool. Let's see if he'll eat. Come on, Bowser. Come on, buddy. There you go, bud. You want some? <laughs> How awesome is that? And I'm gonna be honest with you, I fed him about 10 pellets yesterday because I just got such a kick out of him taking off the tongue, so uh, Bowser is awesome. I certainly miss Potato. He's an amazing Centralian blue tongue skink. Of course, Speedy is out in the backyard roaming around like crazy, but Savvy is still hanging out here. He loves these little tortoise chow pellets. We feed him all kinds of stuff, but he absolutely loves these. As a matter of fact, this is the container right here, and oftentimes he'll go into this container and try to take them himself. So uh, Savvy will go next door pretty soon, but for now, he's definitely our little shelled puppy. And I had showed you Perdita the other day and just how big she's getting. Just look at this animal. I mean, she is so cool. And I was really hoping that she wouldn't get too many spots on her because sometimes you'll see some that have like 80 or 90% pattern. I like the ones that are really high white with just a little bit of pattern to them. So at this size, she would probably be a lot darker if she was gonna get a lot darker. So she's getting closer and closer to her adult color and I couldn't be more happy with the way she turned out. And of course, Lori is so thrilled to have me back. I think she actually is thrilled to have me back. And of course, she's seen me for the last few days. But everyone was asking about Phoebe. Look at how big Phoebe is getting. I mean, she's so huge now. Lori, I swear to God, she's grown like 100 pounds since I've been gone. Well, not 100, but <laughs> she's definitely like doubled her weight and she's almost the same size as Zeus now. Look at these two. Wise. Look at these two. Oh my God, they're almost the same. <laughs> Phoebe was just a puppy when I left. I mean, Great Danes definitely grow really quick, but uh, it is good to be back. I mean, it's awesome just to be kind of here at the shop. And of course, you guys asked for updates on the puppies, so they are doing good. And of course, Zeus is a great little <laughs> Definitely nice to be back with Lori and the family. Sunrise is just coming out of shed and she's looking absolutely incredible. I love the fact that even in shed, this animal is so docile. I love her so much and she's starting to get so big. Next door when she has a really big cage, she's gonna look so small, but she's gonna grow into it. So it's gonna be absolutely amazing. And what a beautiful snake. Of course, I gotta see my girl, Bella. What's up, girl? You're coming out, sweetheart? What are you doing? The pups aren't here for a minute so she can run around a little bit. I love you. 
girl, you can come out and play. And I can't wait to get her next door because she's gonna have the run of the place. The pups won't be next door, so she's just gonna have an open cage. She'll run around all she wants, but then when she goes back in her cage, she's gonna have a huge eight foot cage uh, with lots of climbing branches. I cannot wait to get you here, but you're so amazing. Okay, sweetheart, run away, have some fun, have some freedom. And of course, I've gotta say hello to my girl, Helen, the no-eyed albino ball python. I mean, she is so cute and she's so chunky. I mean, she certainly isn't growing at the pace of a normal snake because she doesn't have eyes. You know, you can't feed her too big of a meal, but uh, she definitely is looking good. Rick and Morty are doing so well. Look at how big they're getting and they're eating off of tongs really, really well. And we actually have some merch coming out with Rick and Morty. I am really happy with this stuff. So stay tuned. Within the next week, you'll get your opportunity to buy Rick and Morty swag. I'm sure some of you guys have worried about Karma because remember just a month or a half ago we had kind of a little bit of scare. His leg was messed up. He wasn't moving really good. He is 100% doing great. He's a beautiful animal and he's definitely on the track. We just kind of changed his diet up. We changed his vitamin regimen up and he seems to just bounce back. And now look at how chubby he's looking. Jessica is actually off today but coming back and seeing the crew is always really good too. Eric, missed you. What Yo, <laughs> I missed you too, man. Sum up what it was like for two weeks without me. Can I say this on camera, living hell? Okay. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It was definitely a little boring, you know, just w without your energy and stuff here. But we're glad you're back. Glad you're back safe. Heard about the story with the car breaking down. Yeah, it was. It was pretty sketchy for sure. Clubbers going good. We're oh, they're, they're yeah, they're going really good. They're plumping up. We've already had a few clutches now, and uh, we're we're rolling right along, right on schedule. And it's really cool. I mean, again, Eric has really been the person behind breeding the Clubbers this year. So he's taken them out of hibernation. He's fed them. He's bred them. Now he's getting eggs. So it's a pretty cool feeling. Isn't oh it? man, it's so cool to take it from just point A to point B and just start from the beginning and just see it go along. And I can't wait to see the babies hatch next. And he's doing a really good job, so uh, it's it's awesome to see. So thanks, Eric. Thank you. Right, we'll see ya. And then of course there's guacamole. Look at how gorgeous guacamole is looking. And you know, ZooMed sent us some really big two foot by two foot by four foot screen cages for next door. So just in a few weeks, guacamole is gonna get an upgrade of the size of his screen enclosure. And I know he's gonna absolutely love the extra space. And holy moly, take a look at Chicken Strip here. Oh my gosh, just before I left on my trips, he was starting to really start to hit food. Basically what happened was he's always a little bit timid about eating, but then he started eating like ground turkey and eggs and calcium powder and bugs and rodents and just kind of ate everything. And I swear to gosh, it looks like he's about doubled his size since I left. He is absolutely huge. I mean, look at what an amazing animal this is. Again, just like Sunrise, when he gets in a big display cage next door. Oh my God, I'm just gonna let him get big. He's eventually gonna have a cage that's like 10 foot by eight foot by six foot. So he's gonna get a huge cage. To start off, we'll probably put him in a good four or five foot cage and then move him up within probably a year and just let him get as big as he wants and have plenty of space. What an awesome animal. And then of course, there's this little monkey here. Of course, this is my girl Verde, the green anaconda. Look at how big she's getting. It seems like just in the last couple weeks, she's grown quite quite a bit. That is just incredible. You guys are always asking about her and uh, certainly that was a snake I missed a tremendous amount. I mean she's got such an incredible personality and just such a beautiful snake. It won't be long before she's a big snake and I cannot wait to see her grow to her fullest extent. Then there's my boy Nova. I mean my beautiful frill dragon. You guys may remember him. Some of you guys may have done. Oh my god I forgot that you had that amazing animal. He is doing so well. I absolutely love him to death. He's such a cool animal and you know as cool as this to have all these animals in our office space, it's gonna be kind of nice to get them next door where they have bigger enclosures, as well as kind of just get this area cleaned up because we are definitely becoming like a zoo in our offices. You can barely sit down to eat lunch or anything like that now, but it's so worth it because animals like Nova are so amazing. Smiley is in shed, but it's still looking really good. And you know, someone actually sent me a really cool shirt that had Smiley on it and uh, woo, and a pretty cool saying. And uh, I think I'm gonna probably do some merchandise with Smiley. Smiley, what? Why are you in such a bad mood right now, buddy? Oh, he took my microphone. Smiley, calm down. It's again just because he's opaque, and when snakes are opaque, they don't see really well, and they get really defensive. So let's go ahead and set Smiley back down. Oh my gosh, take a look at Snoop Frog. He is so monstrous. He gets bigger every time I look at him. Remember when Snoop Frog was literally just a tiny thing like the size of a quarter? Look at how big this guy is now. Snoop Frog 
dog, you're getting so big. You know, one of the coolest things when I was over in Africa, I thought, was the fact that I got to play with some pixie frogs, or African bullfrogs, where they're actually from. As a matter of fact, Mike Perry, the one with the black mambas, he actually bred these just in a pond, and he was producing like 15,000 baby pixie frogs a year, and he was just using them for food for the snakes that eat frogs. I thought to myself, oh my God, stuff like chubby monkey here is so cool, we can't just use them as feeders. But you can see, he's starting to really get big, and now he's peeing on me. Chubby monkey, what are you doing? You know, that was far from all of my animal ambassadors, but I wanted to at least give you guys a proper welcome home to all these animals and just show you how things are going. Of course, this is Texas Ranger here, my scaleless Texas rat snake that has such an absolutely plastic mentality. I love these guys to death. But as you can see, things are going great here, and we are super excited about the future with the animal ambassadors next door with the zoo. So you guys and whoever wants to can come visit them and meet them and all that stuff. Again, next week we start the build out down in Texas. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait to take you guys on the process. We've got some really innovative things we're going to be doing. I hope they work. We're kind of experimenting, to be honest with you. No one's ever done the things that we're going to try to do. So hopefully they're going to work and it's going to be awesome. And we're going to take you right along on the process. Again, we leave next week for that adventure. So it's going to be really, really awesome. As for now, I am going to end the vlog and I wish you a great day, evening, night, whenever you happen to be watching. You guys are absolutely incredible and I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors? Go ahead and do something in the comments me. Tell me something about you guys. Hit that like button. Get that notification bell on so you know when I upload a video. Make sure to be kind to someone and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.